Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on Seeking God. God gifted us with beautiful life and relationships. We live on certain time and earth on this vast universe. There are much said about life, done in life and shared in life. Life offers opportunities that bring name, fame and abundant wealth to some, while bad memories and experiences to others. Life happens to be a mixture of ups and downs, happiness and sorrows. From our birth to death, we seek after things that satisfy us and that would give better living conditions and lifestyle. Is our God a personal being with whom we can interact? Psalm 14 2 says that the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who seek God. Acts 17 26 27 conveys that from one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth and he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him. God wants us, his creation, to seek after him. In Deuteronomy 4.29 we are told that we will find him if we seek him with all our heart and with all our soul. Seeking God is lot more than believing in God. It would mean seeking the purpose of God in our life. Seeking God for our provisions, protections and so on. It would mean seeking his approval and guidance in the decisions we make with our life. Seeking God would mean proactively set out to know him, to incline our hearts towards him, listening to him and responding to him. We read in Hebrew 11, 6 that who come to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. It implies that the true blessing of God will be upon those who seek him earnestly. Israelites were continually commanded to seek God. The history of Israel is nothing but the outstanding actions of God when they sought him and punishments when they failed to seek him. The concluding words of David at his old age to his son, Solomon were, Devote your heart and soul to seeking the Lord your God. Our ego and pride keep us away from knowing God, hindering our relationship with him. In Psalm 10.4 we read as, In his pride the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. Each one of us is made with a void inside us that can be filled only by God. And that's why what is temporal and worldly can never satisfy us completely. Our attitude of self-sufficiency prevents us from seeking God. Keeping ourselves busy and sparing no time for God and godly things prevent us from knowing and seeking Him. The choice is left to us individually, whether to seek him and follow him or to move in the opposite direction, seeking alternate things. Regular time of prayer, sufficient time with the word of God, meaningful fellowship with the believers, obedient to the known truths, etc. would guide us in the direction seeking him in our day-to-day -day life. May God enable us to seek him daily. Thank you for listening. God bless you.